what's going on guys the next trade framework will allow us not only to route pages based on react components but also to route a backend api in this video we're going to make a few changes to our basic api endpoints to provide a restful api with the next JS framework remember to subscribe to the channel and let's get started on a previous video we added a couple of api endpoints for example here we added with this api slash shops folder we have this index file we are returning this shops array that is within this data file. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use the method property from the request that is actually the HTTP method. And we're going to create a switch to handle each HTTP method. In this case, we are going to handle the get and the post HTTP methods. So first let's extract the method property from the request. So this is const and this is http method let's say equals to request dot method and here i'm going to add the switch so this is switch this is http method we're going to handle each http method here so this is case and for the get HTTP method, we're going to return the array of shops. So I'm going to paste that here. And this will be break like this. And for the post HTTP method here, this is post. I'm going to leave just the comment. So here we are going to create create a new shop record so this is to do and we can return the data of that new shop so we can pass that as the body of the request so this will be const let's say shop data and this is request dot body And let's say that we receive three attributes here. Let's say that we receive the title of the shop, the company, and the location, like this. And here we can return as part of the response. Let's say return uh, 200, and we return a JSON object with those fields that we receive. So this is title equals to title, company equals to company, and the same for the location, like this. And here we need to add the break as well. Okay, and we can add a default case. So this is default. And we can set the header. This is set header. Where we pass what are the HTTP methods that we allow in our endpoint. So this is allow, get, and post. And if someone calls this endpoint with a put, for example, or a delete, HTTP method. This is going to return this header, and we are going to also return a 405. So this is res dot status, and this is 405, and we can return a message. This will be method. This is HTTP method, not allowed. Okay, now let's start the server and let's try this. So this is npm run dev. Okay, now let's go to Postman and let's do, yeah, get first. And this is going to return the list of shops. And if we run, for example, a delete method, if we send that request, it's going to return 
method delete not allowed and it's going to run 405 method not allowed okay and the same happens if we send an options it's going to return again method options not allowed and a 405 HTTP status code and if we run a post request we need to pass some data so this will be a JSON object and we need to pass these three properties title company and location so I'm going to grab those from here and I'm going to set some data okay so here I'm going to send the request with this JSON object with this shop data with this title this company and this location so I'm going to click on send and this will return a 200 as we can see here and it's going to return the data back as the response okay now we have a get endpoint to get the list of existing shops and we have a post endpoint to create new jobs but we need to handle some other HTTP methods such as the get method to get a specific job by its identifier we need to handle the put method to update jobs and then we need to handle the delete method to delete jobs so we can add those here where we have access to this show identifier so I'm going to make a few changes here to handle those HTTP methods the get by ID method let's say the put method and the delete method so first I'm going to extract the HTTP method from the request so this is const this is HTTP method equals to request dot method and here I'm going to add the switch this is switch and this is HTTP method and here we're going to have case get where I'm going to move all this logic where we basically retrieve the specific shop by its identifier so this will be break okay then we have the put HTTP method so this is case Put. so here we are going to update the shop this will be to do and then we are going to return the updated resource so we need to access the body where we are going to receive the data to update the shop so here we can access the body of the request so this is const actually I'm going to grab that from here because we're going to receive the same data okay and here again I'm going to return the data back just to add something here so again I return the title the company and the location of the shop okay this will be break and I'm going to add the delete method so this is delete and here we need to add the code to delete delete the shop and here I'm just going to return the shop that we removed and I'm going to add a break here And if the request is not a get, a put, or a delete, so this will be the default case, I'm going to return the same response that I'm returning here. So I'm going to paste that in here. But I need to make a few changes. So here I need to allow the get HTTP request, the put HTTP method, and the delete. HTTP method so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in this array okay now let's start the server and let's try this RESTful API so this is npm run dev okay now let's go to postman and first let's run a get HTTP method 
So let's say that we want to access the shop with ID one. Yes, we get access to that record. Let's say with ID three. Again, we get access to that record. Now let's call the put HTTP endpoint and let's pass this body to update that record. So we should receive back the same data that we sent here. So if I run this, yes, we get back the same information and the same happens if we run the delete method, we're going to receive the data of the record one, this data. So if I run this, yes, we get the data of the first shop that we have here. And if we call, I don't know, the patch method, we're going to receive a 405, as we can see here, and we get this message, method patch not allowed. That's all I have for today. Thank you guys for watching, and I see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.